We are going to continue covering issues in this region, given the gravity of the situation going on right now. It is uh, disappointing, to say the least, and disturbing, perhaps at the worst, to see how ignored this entire region is unless something is happening regarding Washington, D.C. And to give you an example of this, we have major volcanic eruptions happening all over the region. And they're talking about, quote-unquote, Colossus waking up. This is regarding La Cumbre in the Galapagos Islands off the coast of Ecuador. There are two, not one, but two active volcanoes spewing lava as we speak in that region. And we've talked about this before. We've had Reventador in Ecuador. We've had Galeras in Colombia. We've had Fuego in Nicaragua. And now we have two out here. So a grand total of five earthquakes, excuse me, five volcanoes going off in the last month in a region about like this big. And not a word from our media about it. And I can also, strangely enough, go here to Google Earth Pro and show you four NASA logos in almost the exact same shot regarding those five volcanoes. There's one down here, and I guess we could count this as being the one that covers La Cumbre and Sierra Negra. And then you've got one here. And then you've got a strange one over here in Venezuela. I wonder if they're next. And then, of course, the one up here in proximity to Fuego. And as you zoom out, you can see this isn't some huge area of the world. Five volcanoes. Five. Not including Hawaii, which would make six. In our hemisphere. And not literally, hardly a word. It is the oddest thing, but... As long as we have the ability to, we're going to cover it here. Now, this is the uh, this is Teleser, and they're covering the issue. They're really actually reporting, like they should, things that are important to the world. Now, this is from 17 June, talking about La Cumbre. According to the Geophysical Institute of the National Polytechnic School, Galapagos La Cumbre Volcano, located on Fernandina Island, erupted Saturday, which would have been, I guess, before the 17th. The eruption took place between 11 and 11.15, after a series of nine earthquakes from 2.5 to 4.1. So that's the 17th, and now we can go to today. This was only a matter of hours ago, seven, seven or so hours ago. This is a different volcano in the Galapagos chain that has gone off. This is the Sierra Negra volcano. This is the one that's actually labeled with the NASA logo. Has now gone off and they've evacuated 250 people and put out an orange alert. This is a video of the Reventador in Ecuador, actually on the mainland of South America going off, and Reventador means troublemaker. So we're seeing some huge earth changes, and not all around the world, but just here in our hemisphere. We saw a report about something happening under Massachusetts that they found. It's a... Uh, I'm not here to frighten people, but I just want to make sure that everyone is up to date on what what is happening south of our border in our hemisphere that seems to be this magical non-existent world for our media i wonder if any of them could actually find paraguay or uruguay on a map it is just really really odd to see all of this just totally ignored but because it is out there and people are talking about it And this is from globalincidentmap.com, 
This is just recently. Now, yellow means that it, it's not recent, but the size of the circle has to do with the size of the earthquake. The color of the circle has to do with how recent it is. So we have 4.4 in Argentina. We have another one out on the ridge at 5.2. We've got two of them here near Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands. Kansas has one here. Even one in Canada. Montana. So many out west, I can't even count. And here's where all the volcanoes are. Five different volcanoes here, 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 and two out here are going off. You put all this together, folks, clearly something is going to happen. But all our mainstream media seems to want to talk about is irrelevant elections in New York, award ceremonies, and politics. If this isn't, if this current situation doesn't convince people that we have state-run media in this country, that whoever is in charge at the moment, one side will be the official state-run story, and then the other side will be the official opposition. And then when it flips over and the other side's in charge, they just change roles. I made a comment to someone who was asking questions on the channel about you know why I do what I do. And we do training, psychological operations training over on my Patreon channel. And what it has to do with is that we actually live, and I know I'm going to catch some crap for saying this, but I can make the allegation that we live in the United States in a socialist dictatorship. I know that's a big statement to say, but let me explain my point first before anyone gets upset and starts going down in the comments. We have a tax system in this country that Karl Marx himself would be proud of. It's progressive. The more you make, the more they, the more they take. Isn't the basis of Marxism from each according to his ability to each according to his need? And we've had that tax system in place in this country for over 100 years. So that's how we finance everything we do. And nobody pays those taxes willingly. Anybody who says they do is just lying to you. You don't. They come, kick down your door with guns and arms and armaments and armor and drag you away and take your stuff. That's something else the communists and the dictators would be proud of. That's the whole basis of our entire society. That's the unwritten, unseen rule in America. Nobody pays taxes in this country patriotically. So we have a progressive tax system, and we have a government that has no problem spending billions and billions of dollars arming private civilian organizations to enforce that tax system. And then they take your money away from you, and they send it wherever they want to, to enforce whatever new policy in whatever region they want to. It doesn't sound like a democracy to me. It doesn't sound like, and I'm not saying any other place is any better, but we're the ones that are supposed to be the leaders of the free, quote-unquote, free world. And this is how we finance everything we do. And we have state-run media that gives you the stories that you want to hear, or not you want to hear, but they want you to hear. Meanwhile, the world can be literally blowing up under your feet, and they won't say a word to you about it. So, I guess that's just uh, what I wanted to say in today's video. We're going to keep an eye on the issues in Mexico with their elections coming up. Uh, the new president down there is going to definitely change things one way for the better for the worse we'll see but we have volcanoes going off all over the world our world right south of our border and no one is reporting it so anyway god bless everyone take care of each other and uh, do the best you can to be good to each other because when this kind of stuff finally makes its way home 
you know, that's all you're going to have. So like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. And we will see you next time.